All right, I got a video here of the Nissan Murano. I like to shoot one of these to highlight any flaws or anything I can find on the car. raining outside so I had to shoot one in our photo bay here uh, the lights are pretty good in here too so they uh, should highlight any flaws on the car pretty well first things first the tires are really good um, I'd say there's probably 85% tread left um, they are from 2016 bumper's got a little scuff on it here right there there's some touch-up paint going on there on this corner um, the car has some swirls in the hood I don't know if those are gonna show up on camera or not these lights typically show everything so hopefully it does um the car basically just needs to be buffed uh it needs a you know a paint correction it needs to be buffed and waxed and that kind of thing um typically runs a couple hundred bucks to get that kind of stuff done there is some you know damage in the clear coat here from tree sap most likely tree sap will do that to black paint well pretty much any paint but especially black it shows really bad Um, there is some strange white stuff on the top here. I'm not exactly sure what that's from. Um, then a couple scratches there. Something has happened to this mirror. Obviously, someone looks like someone hit something. I don't know. The paint shines really well, though. Um, it's got a good reflection to it. Black car, you know, shows shows just about everything. Um, it does look like there has been some sort of a dent here. I don't know if that's going to pick that up or not. So yeah, there's a dent here and then some level of damage on the side of the door. Again, tires on the rear are really good as well. Lots of tread left. Same thing, you know, there's some spots for some tree sap where tree sap looks like it's eaten through the clear coat a little bit, or at least into it. I shouldn't say through, but into the clear coat. All in all, again, I, I think the, the car could really be uh, cleaned up quite a bit with just a quick paint correction or some buffing some spots in the paint. Some level of damage there. Same thing here, some scratches on the edge of the door. There are some dents down there. Here, here, and here. The inside of the car is actually in really good shape. Leather's all nice. Carpets aren't stained or anything like that. There is a light on the dash here um, for the top sensor. So basically, 
it's saying that the top is not closed all the way, but it certainly is. Um, these things are known to have top issues. We have not had an issue with the top actually functioning. Um, every time I hit this button, it works. This folds up from the back first, and then the top here. beep lets you know the top is down um, and again you know you can see that sensor there it says it's secured uh, this this light here is for tire pressure I'm sorry I should have aired up the tires first but again as you can see top is down um, it's got some discoloration here on the seal and the weather stripping All right, foot on the brake and hold the close button So again, it says it's not closed. It definitely is closed. Um, so I'm not sure, you know, I don't think that causes any drivability issues. I've driven the car personally. It doesn't, you know, have any rattles or anything. The top is clearly secured. If you shake on it or push on it, it doesn't move. But that light is on. So just be mindful of that. Engine sounds very healthy, so I don't think there's any issues there. Um, looks like there's a crack here in the dash. Some level of cracking here as well. Let me know if there's anything I missed for you. I'm happy to you know, go around the car once more. <laughs> 